welcome to Open Everyone. Uh, you know, we're always inviting you to get social with us. That's right. Tweet us at Broxnet TV and tweet me at Rina Valentin. Okay, so in life, a smile, a pat on the back, a greeting, or even a phone call, it goes a long way, you know, especially for someone who's going through a tough time in their life. And so our next guest decided to create a short film shot on location in the Bronx, encouraging people to be kind to one another. And here to share the inspiration behind her short film, Her Kind, we welcome producer Jenny Ruiza. Hi. Hello. Thank you for having me. Welcome. Yes. Oh, goodness. This is your first time here on Open. Yeah, right? yeah. With me on With Friday. You. Uh huh. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what took so long. <laughs> I know. All right. And, and, you know, I'm introducing you as a, as a film producer. However, you, know, you, you do commercials, you do acting, you've got this uh, funny, hysterical lotto commercial oh, going on right you. now. Yeah. yeah, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> if and only I, I won. Well, yeah, yeah, that would be lovely, right? <laughs> and you'd be like, Real yeah, nice. okay, whatever, lotto commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> no, but really, um, d just in introducing you, you know, uh, one of the things I really enjoy about the work that you do is it's very raw. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> and so that rawness, to see it on the flip side, to see your authentic self yeah. was really, really breathtaking Thank for you. me. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah, you did a really great job with this, with this film. I mean, it's a six-minute piece of poetry as oh, well. Oh, yes. thank you so yeah. much for that. Yeah. 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 I wanted to do something different because I, I my roots are in comedy. I've been studying comedy for many years and that's where my home is. But something spoke to me because, I mean, in all honesty, I was just going through a difficult time and I thought, one day I literally was in the middle of sleep. I woke up and I thought, I need to write this down because if I don't do this, I'll forget it. And then the next morning, it just kept layering and layering itself. And then I called up the Breton brothers and I was like, guys, I need your help. And they were like, I'm coming through. They shot it. They helped me compose it. I mean, it's, it's really, you know, a piece that is very personal to my heart. And um, just because, you know, it ends up being six minutes, how long uh, did it take to put the whole thing together? Well, it, we shot it in one day. And then I edited it over a period of a week. I'm very aggressive with my goals, but I needed to get it out. I wanted to specifically get it out for Mother's Day, which is when we debuted the film. And I thought, what a perfect time to demonstrate how human kindness can impact society. And the people that teach us that really are our mothers. You know, we're very fortunate enough to have mothers. So why not put that out into the world? So we are taking, uh, we, we've got some B-roll in the background. Yes. Uh, we're just, because uh, we don't want to give the whole thing away, we actually want you guys to head on over to YouTube and check out this video for yourself. It's definitely something that will uh, just sprinkle some sunshine into your life, yeah. right? It, because it opens up a consciousness in just the simple things, just a simple phone call. Yeah. Just a simple phone call. Simple I call. Honestly, I sat through the whole thing, yeah. and, and at first it, there, there's something suspenseful about it as mm -hmm. well. Because I wasn't sure, yeah. all right? Yep. And I'm not going to give it away. Don't give it away. They have to watch it. <laughs> they have to watch what I'm talking about. Yeah. But the, the just the, the simple kind acts. I mean, right now we're looking at this um, exchange between a stranger on the train. Yeah. And, and, and it just in the conversation that's happening with the eyes, I mean, how often do we come across strange people on the train and then there's some kind of communication going on without yeah. words? And how often do we have those moments where you're just having a bad day and you're, you're tearing up and you do that New York thing of like, don't cry, don't cry. And then the tear comes down and then someone notices and they do either smile or they look away, but you hope that you can connect with someone for that brief moment just to make sure everything's okay. Everything's fine. So that's that was the exchange that we had there. Yeah, no, and, and, it, and it was simple. Yeah. It was simple, and then the person getting in the way, that's it, it's all familiar yeah. and relatable, yes. right? But by the same, there was hardly any words. There was hardly any dialogue Yeah. in the entire film. I know. It's, it's, it was very experimental for me to go that way, because you know me. I'm, I talk all the time, and I just don't stop talking. But this was something different. I felt like the least amount of words, the better, because that's those are those moments, those quiet moments, where you learn the most about people and you connect with them and engage. So hopefully people can connect and realize, you know, you just, sometimes you don't need words. You just need to be there and present. For me, um, from just speaking uh, uh, from the urban perspective, yeah. it, to me, it already serves as a classic that should be constantly rolled out uh, for Mother's Day. 
Okay. Yeah, that's a I, good that idea. Was a, <laughs> okay, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm serious. Absolutely. It definitely, it, it sits, it's it's timeless, it's evergreen, yeah. and it makes the point. I love all the notations at the end. That's Thank to you. give you guys a clue yes. that you have to watch it completely to the end. To the very end. Don't shut it off when you think the credits are coming yeah. on because there's more. Mm -hmm. There's more. <laughs> and, um, and so... What do you see happening with this piece outside of what I just suggested? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm definitely doing that, but I'm also going to submit it to some festivals. I'm trying to put it out there and promote as much as I can and, you know, just see what happens. I'm, I'm, I haven't lost my comedy roots. Don't, don't worry. I'm still going to be raw and real out there, but I wanted to do something a little different. So I think it's beautiful. I think it's important that we exercise uh, every aspect of who we are as human beings. Absolutely. And um, the fact that you have access to the comedy gives you access to the drama. Um, yep. Right? You know, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Because there's truth in comedy and there's comedy in truth. But without that, you still have dramatic parts of life and it all connects. So that's just something, I mean, even in this piece, there's still like elements of little comedy here and there. I mean, even with the cat caller, I won't say too much, right. but you know, those are moments that are like, they're, they're funny, but you just have to kind of go, I can't believe that just happened to me. Right. And roll it off. Well, because it's, it's reality. It's real, it's reality. yeah. Right, but at the end of the day, what we're really talking about is just being uh, conscious of humanity. Yes. And, and the humanity that lives within. Yeah. And, and just be kind to each other. Oh, my God, just be kind. Smile a little bit. If you see someone, say hi. Don't be rude. You know, we're all in this together. We live on this earth together. Why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Jenny Ruisa, everyone. All right, so check this out. Jenny Ruisa's short film, Her Kind, it's, uh, well, you can either see it on her website, which is JennyRuisa.com, or you can follow her YouTube page at Jenny Ruisa. And Jenny is spelled J-E-N-N-I Ruisa, and I'm spelling it out because obviously I want you guys to take a peek. I mean, even though Mother's Day is over, it's still Mother's Month as Mother's far as Day I'm concerned. And that's it. That's <laughs> right. Mother's Day is every day. So uh, check her out. All right, it's called Her Kind. All right, stay tuned because Bobby C's Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next.